New at 5.30, a protected bird is shot and left to die. And now the SPCA wants to bring the shooter to justice. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch reports. This rare yellow crown night heron has seen better days. It's recovering after being shot on Sunday. Going a long way with someone shoot a bird like this. Um, it's, they're not noisy. They're not, um, you know, making a racket out there. Dr. John Charos of Central Veterinary Associates says what happened to this rare bird is baffling, cruel, and inhumane. This bird is protected under both state and federal statute. There are less than 50,000 of them in the U.S. Known as night herons because they come out at dusk to find food in the shallows. During the day, they're inactive, typically resting in trees. And that's where this guy was when he became the victim of a senseless crime. Perched in a tree in the affluent neighborhood of Hewlett Bay Park on Long Island, someone shot at him three to four times with a pellet gun. This x-ray offers proof that at least one pellet struck the bird. We've got a complete break of both bones here. Surgery was necessary to repair his wing fractured in two places and his upper thigh too. The surgery lasted only 15 minutes but cost in the thousands of dollars. <laughs> we're, we're quite confident we have the individual. Detective Bob Sowers of the Nassau SPCA says an eyewitness saw the shooter gun in hand. For an older adult male in a very a neighborhood like that to do something like this is outrageous and all the more reason we're going to be very aggressive. He says the shooter will be charged with animal cruelty and is hoping for more serious charges at the federal level. In Valley Stream on Long Island, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. And it'll be months before the heron can actually return to the wild.